unfortunately, I believe we have to put a pause on this discussion. So please don't go anywhere. We do have to take you to this live event. The president is uh, speaking. So let's just listen in. He doesn't speak to the media often. Um, but we're here with the president. Mr. President, can you give us your remarks, please? Well, I've come here to pay my condolences following the passing of uh, our brother, Diego Moseneke. Yesterday, I had the occasion to phone Judge Moseneke to pass on my condolences. It was a very sad conversation over the telephone because uh, he was sad, so was I, because the loss of a brother to him is something that is quite devastating. And I also felt great and continue to feel great sadness because I knew dear Homo Seneke. He was one of the fine, fine young people that have been produced by our country. He was in business, but our association with him is that he was a very loyal member of the African National Congress. And uh, I've just come out of the National Executive Committee uh, they allowed me to come and pay my condolences, as did the Deputy President yesterday. The passing of Diego Moseneke is a great loss for us as <clears throat> the ANC, but also will be for us as a people, as a nation, because he was uh, an outstanding, standing person who loved this country dearly, and who, even though he was in business, was doing really good business, growing the family business, and being a role model to many people that he rubbed shoulders with. I have great respect for him as a human being and will be among those who will miss him, miss him dearly for the attributes that he had as a human being, great compassion, very, very bright and a hard worker. And so his passing was a bit too early, uh, I wrote in the condolences book, and we will miss him dearly. So that is why I'm here and uh, been pleased also to meet his widow and his children, lovely, lovely family. And this is where the sadness really sinks in, that a lovely family like this has been deprived of a father, a husband, and an uncle, and to the judge here of a younger brother. So this is a moment of sadness. But I guess on Wednesday, people will have the opportunity to celebrate his life, because that is what we should do as human beings. When something, somebody who is really outstanding and wonderful passes on, you are duty-bound to celebrate that life and speak about the wonderful attributes that the person had and the impact and the influence that he had on those that he lived with and those that he happened to brush shoulders with. So that is what has brought me here. And I'm glad the family has welcomed me in the way they did and we passed our condolences. Thank you very much. If you can indulge us on the NEC meeting, Mr. President, how is it progressing? The NEC is going extremely well. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a new NEC, as you well know, and our discussions are quite substantive. As it is now, they are discussing a number of issues, and we will be able to issue a statement on Monday. So wait for that, and the discussions will have ensued uh, on all manner of things. And it's a, it's a really wonderful meeting, good spirit, and uh, people are contributing a great deal. So I'm rather pleased to be leading an organization that's renewing itself and moving ahead. Mr. Thank Pre you. Mr. President, just the last one from us in the SABC. <laughs> Your engagement with President Hage came up yesterday in the NEC that uh, we were supposed to be in, but uh, you chucked us out. Just what are some of the highlights that he spoke about, particularly when it comes to why the ANC government is still part of the International Criminal Court, particularly with President Putin coming in August. Well, we had a wonderful engagement with uh, President Hage Gengop. Uh, both our organizations, SWAPO and uh, the ANC, are liberation movements, essentially. And there is a lot that we share. We are sister parties. They will soon be celebrating the 63rd 
uh, celebrations of anniversary rather and uh, we are their elder sister as the ANC but a lot binds us together we were together in the trenches fighting against the evil system of apartheid both here and in Namibia and so we found a great deal of commonality commonality in the objectives that we set out as liberation movements uh, to free the people of our two countries but also to foster development in our two respective countries and we are linked at the hip in a most meaningful way both economically and both being peoples of southern africa so we exchanged views on the journey that swapo has been traversing since their own independence and the journey that the anc is also traversing the challenges that they face and the achievements that they are making uh, on a number of fronts and there is a lot that is common between our two parties so it was really a wonderful moment of exchange by the way he was a very ever first head of state and head of a party to come and address the national executive committee so yesterday we made history because uh, this has never happened with the ANC so that was a great deal of delight for us so we were also solidifying the links between us and yes of course we discussed a little bit about BRICS and uh, uh, the summit that's coming in August. And of course, we, we didn't go into the uh, details that you would like me to talk about, about the uh, impending coming of uh, President Putin uh, or not. So we are still discussing that matter. So let's leave it there. Uh, and we will be clarifying our position in time to come. Apart from News from Africa, Mr. President, how would you respond to some NEC members who have expressed on the sidelines of your NEC that there were quite some, not all, but they were upset that the, the, how could the ANC invite President Hage Gangob when there's still this issue of Palapala that has not yet been addressed? Well, that was never expressed to me, and uh, both of us uh, were asked that question. We said, you know, there are all these processes that are still underway and uh, we, we didn't even discuss it because it was never on the table for discussion and that was it. Last one, Mr. President, government issues. Yes. The issue of the Minister of Electricity. Yes. The powers that you need to take from your National Chair, Minister of Mineral Resources and Energy, and the powers you need to take from Mr. Fabian Gordon. Is there a territorial battle on Syria? There is no territorial battle on this matter. When I appointed the Minister of Electricity, I made it absolutely clear what the roles of the three ministers would be. I made it clear that the Minister of Electricity is going to focus his attention on ridding our country of load shedding. And therefore, he's going to focus on the generation of uh, the energy that we need so that we reduce and eliminate load shedding. That is his task, that is his mandate. Minister of Mineral and uh, DMRE, Minerals and Resources and Energy, his task is on the energy side to be the repository of the regulations, the laws that we have on uh, regulating energy reside with the minister. Minister of Public Enterprises will be dealing, as I said when I made the announcement, with the issues of ESCOM in relation to governance, in relation to restructuring of ESCOM, so that we deliver precisely what we said we would deliver a restructured ESCOM, which will hopefully become, not hopefully even, but effectively become a well governed organization that is able to execute its mandate for our country. So there is no conflict. And of course, in the media, there's uh, talk of this conflict and that conflict. There is no conflict as far as I'm concerned. I know exactly the delineation of the tasks of these three ministers. And truth be told, 
the ministers themselves are surprised that uh, there is this talk of conflict. They work very well together. And in many ways, for me, this is a good architecture because it enhances integrated government, joined up government, so that the three of them are able to address this national challenge that we have working together from three different uh, aspects. So there's no conflict, there's no crisis, government goes on and work is underway. Thank you very much. <laughs> Rather jovial scenes there um, on the sidelines of the president making those comments on various issues of national importance, including the electricity crisis and, of course, the ongoing ANC NEC meeting. But the president uh, is speaking in Pretoria there after. Uh, uh, visiting with the family of the late uh, Tia Homo Seneke, a um, uh, well-known businessman uh, and activist uh, in his day uh, who's passed away rather uh, prematurely. So I'm sure our colleague there, Sibaman Lagoge, on the sidelines there as well, will be wrapping all of that for us and bringing us the very latest a little uh, later on. Let's go.